So one of the best maps in the game to sustain by far is going to be Glacier. The reason is because it's a tier 2 map, super easy to run, super easy to farm, and the monolith spawns right smack dab in the beginning of the map. My name's Kamal, and today we're going to go over how you can sustain Glacier maps. All right, so the list of things that you're gonna need to be able to do this successfully is you're going to need 19 different cartographer seals, apprentice. You're going to want three different, uh, or not different, but three of the cartographer unshaping orbs. Not cartographer anything, unshaping orbs. Now, the way that you get each of these is to get the seals, you want three of the Apprentice Cartographer Sextants, and you want one Orb of Scouring. You can also do this in stacks, so you can sell like 30 Sextants and 10 Scourings, you'll get back 10 of the Seals. Now, the reason that you want this is because you want to seal every single Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 map. You don't need to worry about the Tier 4s or anything higher. The other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need three Unshaper Orbs guaranteed almost guaranteed you're going to want two more than likely you're going to want three now the reason that you're going to want these is to unshape maps and then shape the correct one the way that you get this is you can either get it from the trade market or you can trade in five orb of regrets to any vendor as well as 20 cartographer chisels and it will give you one unshaping orb what you do then is you take the unshaping orbs and you unshape the tier one that you've set up which will be as now a tier six the tier two which will now be a tier 7 and the tier 3 which will now be a tier 8. Unshape all of those. The reason being is before you can unseal a map or before you can seal a map to where you haven't ran it before you have to th or, yeah it is unsealing. I fucking before you can uncomplete a map you have to first unshape it. So the tier 1, 2, and 3 you unshape and then all the tier 1s, all the tier 2s, all the tier 3s you will then uncomplete. You uncomplete them, you see how there are no lines underneath any of these maps. That's because they've all been uncompleted. Now, once you have this, all of that done, all of them unshaped, all of them uh, unran to where they're all open, then you go back to Zana and you get the tier three shaper orb. Once you have the tier three shaper orb, you want to put it on either the ley line or on the mausoleum map, whichever one you prefer. It honestly does not matter. The other one though, you're going to want to, if you can, if you've made it this far, I haven't, so it's fine. Um, but once you complete the memory eater, you'll actually get an elder orb. When you get the elder orb, you want to put the elder orb onto the other map. That way, both of these maps are no longer tier threes. You can no longer get them while running the glacier map. So when you're running the glacier map, the only map you'll get is the glacier map. Now, when you talk to Zana, after you've unshaped the maps, you can then take shaper orbs. This will allow you to pick up the tier one, tier two, and then the tier three that you've already used. Use the tier three once again, like I said, on the mausoleum or on the ley line map, whichever one you prefer. I use mine on the mausoleum. Don't worry about it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing the map that I just got blue screened out of because I'm recording. You know, I'm recording, so they're going to blue screen me. This is like the fourth time I've tried to re-record this. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. But essentially, after you get all that done, as long as your completion on the map is at 100% or higher, on the atlas rather, is at 100 or higher, you're guaranteed to receive an atlet or fucking atlas a, gl a glacier map while you're running this so i am a little bit further than this i'm gonna go and kill these mobs see if i can get any more glacier maps i did get one glacier map while i was running this uh let's see if we can get any more huh and the reason that people run the glacier is because well it's absolutely phenomenal when it comes to location one of the first things that you'll see when you run this map is going to be the monolith it's super early on in the map in the map so it makes it extremely useful if you're just farming monoliths boom right there there's another glacier map 
And this is what I'm talking about. I love Glacier because, well, super quick, super easy. The last boss is probably going to kill me because this tune is not ready for that yet. Uh, my, <laughs> my Marauder is much better, but the first one that I started running was Reflect Elemental Damage, which completely murders my Marauder. There's a couple Leyline maps. You will occasionally get the Tier 3 maps that you have not unshaped, and that's because, well, you're running Glacier map. So when you're running the Glacier map, you're going to occasionally see the maps that are connected to Glacier that you haven't completed or you have completed. Right now, Mausoleum, Mausoleum is shaped. Leyline is completely uncompleted. I still have gotten three Leyline maps out of the five maps that I got from here. Two Glaciers, one Leyline, and that's because, once again, the Tier 3 Leyline map is connected to the Tier 2 Glacier. That's the reason... Holy shnikes! That's the reason that you want to... Shaper one and Elder the other one. If I had the Leyline map Eldered, these uh, these three Leyline maps in here would all be Glacier maps. But, oh, I guess I only have two. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if you Elder the Leyline map and then you Shaper the Glacier map, you will only receive... Not not shape for the glacier. God damn it, my. You know what? I'm not re-recording this. Ignore what I just said. If you shaper the mausoleum and you elder the ley line, or vice versa, the only map you'll be seeing while running this is going to be the glacier map. On occasion, you may see the tier one sulfur vents, but you can just run it and then shape it, and then you won't see it anymore because it's tier 5. And then on the very slim chance, or tier 6 rather, uh, there's a very, very slim chance also that you'll see a tier 4 map, but it's so, it's such a small chance, such a small percentage chance that you'll actually get that map, that it's really not even worry about it, and not even worth worrying about, because the only map, the only mobs, holy fuck, <laughs> the only mobs that can actually drop that map is going to be the orange named mobs so essentially the boss of the area so let's go ahead and throw some chisels on this Ugh. nice that's not what i wanted i seriously dropped like 60 fucking chaos so that i could make this video because people are ridiculously priced We'll run it again, and I'll show you just another highlight of how the glacier is going to be really the only map you're seeing in here. Like I said, there's a very slim chance that you'll see a tier 4. I, I wouldn't even worry about that. I've gotten tier 1s out of here quite a bit, but since I've, un since I've sealed them to where I am essentially haven't ran them yet... I haven't been seeing them at all. There's a glacier map. I don't know what that was. That looks like a silver coin. Yeah, this build is not uh, suitable for much of anything yet. I don't have any health potions. I don't have my molten shell. Uh, this monolith is right there. Perfect location. Absolutely amazing. I got frozen. That wasn't good little bit of interface lag it happens there's a whole bunch of shit going on in the screen i'm not surprised boom shakalaka keep running keep running keep running so we've already received one glacier map let's see if we can get another one real quick got some jeweler's orbs i ain't mad about that Alright, and, and you can see, I mean, you don't even really have to go past this part. You can just stay and run this first little area. I wouldn't suggest it. I would suggest clearing the map out because fucking why not? I mean, you're just farming a tier 2 map anyways. But, one of the other important things, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier on in the video, but your Atlas Completion 
it's going to be a lot better for you and a lot easier to get maps consistently if you have it at 100% or higher, even after everything's done. So even with all the tier 1s, 2s, and 3s uh, sealed, uncompleted, and open, if you still have 100%, that's going to put you in an absolutely amazing position to do these runs because you're still going to be seeing redonkulous amounts of maps well, through the runs. I've only gotten one glacier out of here, but... I mean, only getting one map, and that one map being a glacier, you can't really complain because that one map is absolutely all that you need to be able to sustain. Once again, map sustain is just quite literally running a map and getting a map afterwards. So sustaining glacier, that's exactly what this is going to be. You run a map, you get a glacier map, hashtag sustained. Now, I could do Alva, but she likes to lag out and fuck me up so she can go somewhere else. She can go f ride a bike. Alright, we got some regrets, some scourings. Oh, there's two of them. Alright. Stay a little bit out of their range of their fucking leap slam. Because that shit will kill me so fast. I already know how their leap slams work, man. They hit this character so goddamn hard. Alright, so we only got one map. But like I said, one map is all that you need to sustain. Because, well, now I can go back in. I can drop that map in. And I can run it again. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Make sure if you do subscribe, and if you are subscribed already, hit the bell notification. That way you do get notified whenever I put out more videos like this. If you want to show any type of monetary support, there are links down in the description below. And, uh, yeah, that's how you sustain maps. I'm out.